Hello my foodie phonics friends and a happy new year to you. It's so wonderful to be back baking with you today. I hope you've had a wonderful holiday just like I have. Some of you might even still be on holiday, but some of you I know are already back to school as well. Well, let's get on with our recipe, shall we? The sound that we're learning about today is the two sounds together from letter S and letter T. When they're next to each other like that, they make a st sound. That's a funny sound, isn't it? Would you like to try it with me again? You ready? St. St. Can you think of any words that start with a st sound? How about the stick? Can you see it's quite a nice stick. It's kind of like braided. St. St. Stick. How about these stars that the stick is leaning against? St. Star. I've got one, two stars. St. Sticky tape. You might call it cello tape, but where I am, I call it sticky tape. St. Sticky tape. Now that reminds me of what we're going to make today. We're going to make sticky sticks. Not a stick like this from the garden, no, no. We're going to make sticky sticks that we can eat and they're going to be delicious. First of all, I need to wipe my hands with my wet wipe because I'm going to use my fingers to shape the dough. Put it into my bin. Remember my little glass jar bin? Here it is at the back. My hands are clean. Now, to show you what we're going to use to make our sticky sticks today, I've got a bag of dates here. Now, some of you who are watching might have seen my post yesterday. I had a bag of prunes only because I hadn't been to the shop yet to buy my dates. So, I've got my bag of dates. The actual recipe that I'll um, link to under the video is supposed to have medjool dates. I think that's how you say them. But I don't have medjool dates. I've got these pitted dates, and that means that this pip has been taken out of the dates. So, Mine are a little bit smaller, so I had to measure a half a cup of dates. If you're using medjool dates, you'll only need three because they're apparently really big. But I needed half a cup of my dates. Remember how I explained that half a cup is half the size of a full cup. You need half a cup of dates and then you have to soak them in some warm water just for a short while, about half an hour. Maybe while you're getting dressed or changed or brushing your teeth just so that they can get nice and soft and juicy. So there my dates have been soaking in the warm water for half an hour. And then you also need some peanut butter. Now, I don't know if any of you on here can't eat peanut butter. Would you like to show me with a little comment? If you can't eat peanut butter, you can use any other nut butter, um, like sesame spread perhaps, or oh, I'm not sure what other kind of butters you might be able to use if you're allergic to peanuts, but you'll probably know because you've been using them for a while. Today I'm going to use peanut butter, and it's also half a cup of peanut butter. So, let me get started. First things first, I have to drain the water off of my um, dates. I'm going to use the spoon so that the dates, dates don't spill out. I might need to use the water, a little bit of the water, if the dates don't mix properly with the peanut butter. That's what the recipe says. You can add a little... Oh, ah, let's fish our dates out, shall we? I'll just use the spoon. Scoop it up. There it is. Got my one date that fell into the water. I'll pop it back in the jug of dates. Okay, so I don't need the water right now. I'll move that out of my way. And then I'm going to measure my half a cup of peanut butter. You all know I love peanut butter, right? Just going to move these off camera over there on the edge of my table so I can measure my peanut butter. Half a cup of peanut butter. Yummy for my tummy. That's one spoon. I wonder how many spoons make up half a cup. That's two spoons. Actually, if you're watching and you can't eat peanut butter, I would love for you to comment in the comments what you can use instead. So you maybe give other people some good ideas too. Three scoops, or spoons I should say. And four, do you think that measures half a cup yet? Let's have a look. Mm, 
I think so. It's a little bit over the top of the edge, so if I flattened it down, it would be half a cup. Right, let's move our peanut butter jar out of the way. And now, um, I need the mixer jug, or the blender jug, actually. Pour all of the dates into the blender jug. There we go. And the peanut butter. There it goes. Easy peasy, boys and girls. You can do this part all by yourself. I'm sure you could soak the dates in cold water so that you don't have to ask mommy or daddy to get hot or warm water for you. So you soak your half a cup of dates in some cold water while you go and brush your teeth or get dressed. And then you measure out half a cup of peanut butter or whatever other nut butter you can use. You put them together. Now this is the part where you might want mommy or daddy to help you because you do need to use a blender. I've got my blender stick here. Remember, st for stick. This is a blender stick. I wonder, boys and girls, can you think of some names that start with a st sound? Remember how we always say when you when you um writing names or saying names, you need the first letter to be the big letter. So here I have my big letter S makes a s, and the small letter T makes a t. St for Stanley is someone's name. St. Stanley. How about Stacy? St. Stacy. Can you think of any other names that start with a st sound? Let me know in the comments, please. And actually, I want to show you this letter T. Sorry, I know I got you almost blending our dates and peanut butter. We'll get back there in a minute. This letter T has a curl at the bottom. That's the wrong way to write a letter T. So I'm actually going to show you how to write the proper um, letter T. Here's our alphabet board. Actually, in the alphabet, you can see that letter S and letter T are actually right next to each other. St, right next to each other in the alphabet, just like when we write them in words that start with a st sound. And you know what? I think it's high time we sang our alphabet song. We haven't sung it in a very long time. Are you ready? Do you know it? Can you remember it after being on holiday for such a long time? Let's begin. Ready? Big breath. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y and Z. Now I know my ABC. Next time won't you sing with me? Well done boys and girls. Now I was going to show you how we write the proper way for letter S and letter T. Um, I'm actually right-handed so <laughs> I just need to move the whiteboard back here and then I'll bring it forwards again once I'm finished. Okay, I can't write with my left hand. Do you write with your left hand? Show me in the comments if you do. I write with my right hand. So, our letter S is like a big curly snake. Letter S. And then letter T is a straight line. No curly line. With a short line across nearly halfway. You ready? Now that's for someone's name, like we said. I've got the big letter S for someone's name, like Stanley or Stacy or Stu, Stuart. Let me know of some other names in the comments for you. Now, if we're making words that are not someone's name, like maybe stick or star or sticky tape, we use a small letter S. I'll show you what that looks like. You ready? So we do a smaller S like that. And then the line for the T actually starts a little bit above the S with a line across the middle. That is the small S T that we use for words like stand stamp step or stairs or how about statue what other words can you think of that start with a st sound boys and girls let me know in the comments and if you can't type on the computer ask mommy or daddy to let me know in the comments or your bigger brother or sister okay right back to our recipe so we've got our half a cup of dates and we've got our half a cup of peanut butter Let's get blending. Are you ready? It's gonna be noisy. Block your ears if you want to. You know what? I think I'm going to use some of that water that the recipe suggested. Here it is back here. 
just going to pour a little bit in just a little bit there we are try again block your ears if it's too noisy for you <laughs> My time is running out on this video, so I'm going to continue in the next video. I'll see you in a few minutes. Bye for now.